sleepy girl today. Yeah, it's all that rain, isn't it? Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Evelyn and a very sleepy Luna here as always. Thank you all so, so much for all of your support on my very first year here as a content creator on YouTube. I cannot believe that the festive season is over and we're well into January already. How crazy. If you haven't already done so, then please, my friends, hit that all important subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any content here on the Evelyn Adore channel. Now, this week I'm going to start the year as I mean to go on by sharing with you some basic pattern drafting. And because it's still really chilly and cold here, I've decided to share with you one of my favorite pattern blocks. And it was actually a pattern block that for some reason I couldn't find in my pattern folders. I have drafted one before, who knows where it's gone? It's completely disappeared. I'm talking about a leggings block. So this week I'm going to show you how to create the perfect stretch knit block for athleisure, athletic, dancewear, loungewear garments. So grab your pattern making supplies. Let's go. Let's get some creating done. <gasps> what was that? Is that a noise outside? Can't be the postman delivering fabric because that happened this morning. <laughs> I'm such a good girl. To begin, grab your pattern paper, mark a pen and ruler together with your sleeve and bodice blocks. I'm using these little mini versions of my blocks today just so that you can see and follow everything on screen. Looking first at our sleeve block, we aren't going to make any changes. Simply trace around your sleeve block and relabel it as your jersey sleeve block. Because we are using stretch fabrics, we are going to dispense with seam allowances to allow for the stretch fabrics to do their thing. Now for our bodice blocks. To create a simple no darted jersey block, we're going to do some dart manipulation to close those darts. Starting with your front block, square lines through the centre of your darts, meeting at your apex point. Cut along those lines almost to the apex point, creating a hinge. Using this hinge, close the side dart like so, pivoting the fullness into the waist dart. Now measure that new enlarged waist dart and plot this measurement on the waistline inwards from the side of your pattern, making a mark. Draw a line from this mark to meet the side of your block pattern, approximately halfway down the side. Cut down this line, removing the dart fullness from your pattern. Grab some spare pattern paper scraps, placing them behind your new pattern to allow you to smooth and true those new pattern lines. Cut it out and there you have it, your front jersey block. Moving on to the back. Square a line from the tip of your dart to the pattern's side. Measure your dart and plot this measurement once again along the waistline inwards from the side, making a mark. From this mark, draw a line upwards to meet your squared line at the side of the pattern. Grabbing your scissors, yes you guessed it, cut along that line, removing the fullness of that waist dart. Take some scrap paper and smooth out those lines. As I always say here on the channel, it's times like these that a curved ruler can prove very useful. 
And there is your Jersey back bodice. And now you have your complete set of jersey blocks. When using these blocks, the only additional allowance you need to make is anywhere you are going to hem the garment. For example, your armholes, neckline and bottom hem. So make sure to add those hem allowances either to your block patterns or like I tend to do when you cut out your garment. This block is drafted without any ease as I'm using a stretch fabric with at least 40% stretch and I want a close fitting garment. But if you wish, you can add ease to your measurements as you draft. To create the front of your stretch leggings block, square down the right hand side of your paper by your wrist to ankle measurement marking the top of this line as A and the bottom as B. Square outwards from A, marking one quarter of your waist measurement as C. Then mark your body rise measurement down from A as D and square across. Mark halfway between D and B as E. Then mark one quarter of your hip measurement outwards from D as F. Plot one quarter of the measurement D to F outwards from F as G. Plot one to one and a half inches diagonally up and out from F as a guide mark to help create the front crotch curve. Then join C to G through that guide mark, drawing in your front crotch curve. Plot one half of your ankle circumference measurement out from B as H. Now out from E, plot two thirds of the measurement D to F as I. Draft a straight line between G and I, marking at the halfway point. Come inwards from this point by 3 eighths of an inch and make a mark. Now join G to I to H in a curved line passing through the inner mark that you just made, creating the front inside leg curve. Now onto the back.
come upwards from C by one and one quarter inches and mark as J. Come out from G by one fifth of the measurement D to F and mark as K. Plot one and a half to two inches out diagonally from F to plot the back crotch curve guide point. Now join J to K through that guide point to draw in your back crotch curve. Join J to A to create your back waistline. Plot three quarters of an inch out from H as L. Plot one and three sixteenth inches out from I as M. Draft a straight line between M and K and mark at the halfway point. Come inwards from this point by 3 eighths of an inch and make a mark. Now join K to M to L in a curved line passing through that inner mark to create your back inside leg curve. And your patterns are finished. To create a one-piece leggings block, trace one half of your pattern before flipping your tracing over to trace the other half, effectively tracing them together and eliminating any outside leg seam. There you go, my wonderful friends, how to pattern draft your very own loungewear, athleisure wear blocks. And a little birdie tells me that you better get round to drafting your own to your own measurements because we're going to be using them next week to create something I'm really, really excited to share with you. But until next week, my friends, stay safe, have fun. Bye. Everyone's going to think that all you do is snooze. It's not untrue, to be honest. <laughs> Beagles, what snooze? Gorgeous girl. <laughs>